Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video that is going to be on Game 1, recapping the Florida Everblades versus Newfoundland Growlers, as an OT solo wins it for the Everblades, as he called Game, Set, Match. Zach Solo, as it was a nice battle in front, <clears throat> was able to have the puck that was sent across crease from John McCarron to pick up his hat-trick with, with assists as McCarron had three assists and was a star of the game for the Everblades. Being able to get that one done, Cam Johnson was also sharp in cage again, but let's start from the beginning. Bowling on the power play, you can't put the growlers on the power play. The Blades did learn that one the hard way, but were able to survive in the end as they did go two for three on the power play. The growlers are deadly on that power play as Bowling went through the entire defense as Finkelstein dropped it back to him. He went through the defense. Melindy slammed one from the point that got through. That was their second goal, even strength. The Growers are a team you can beat. They are a very good 5-on-5 five five team, too, but they're lethal on the power play because the Blades are a very nice 5-on-5 five five team. You got to beat them in there, and you got to take advantage on the power play. In this game, the Blades did not take advantage on the power play, but they made up for it, as on one of the other Growers power plays. The power plays were successful, scoring two out of three times, but the other one did give up a goal shorthanded, as Jake Yurmenko from the brilliant 2-on-1 with Van Der Esch, was able to slam that one home in front in his return. Good thing he returned to the lineup for the Everblades as he was able to slam that one home in front. And then McCarron getting his first assist of the night and Van Der Esch getting his second. I would give Van Der Esch probably the third star of the game, McCarron the second when it comes to this game because Van Der Esch was able to have a couple great apples as well and then McCarron had three. But Sandbrook was able to shoot a knuckle puck on a one-timer that hit one of the growlers and then was able to get past Petrozelli because of such. This goal was really nice. Even strength goal by Angeli as McCarron was able to fight for the puck behind because when Necky was able to send it to him behind the net, he was able to win the puck battles behind the net. And then Angeli smartly cut to the front of the net and Derek Angeli was able to pot one because of the beautiful pass by John McCarron. Then Ryan Szczynkowski, most annoying name on their team, from Gordy Green and Noel Hoffenmeyer was able to slam one home as guys were coming in on him there, but he was able to just destroy that slap shot and get it past Cam Johnson there. But overall, I would have to say the stars of the game for this one, you got to give it to the game winner. Zach Solo has to get the number one. He won the game, and that was a brilliant play by McCarron, not to get greedy there, not to go for the shot on the rebound. It looked like he purposely sent that one across. Smart, intuitive play by him as Solo was able to score it. The other stars has to go to McCarron, who had the um, beautiful play and pass for the um Derek and Jelly goal, and then Sam Brook, he also had the beautiful pass for that goal as well. And then, as I said, the third star, I would say, has to go to Van Der Esch, who had the brilliant pass to Jake Yeremko in his return for the goal, as Yeremko in his first game back was able to score. Very nice return for him. And then Jordan Sam Brook was able to score as Van Der Esch and McCarron both set that up. So those would be the stars of the game for me. Great job by the Florida Everbraids to be able to take away home ice advantage from the Newfoundland Growers. And now it's anybody's match in this one. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to the first game as the Everblades take down the Newfoundland Growlers. I hope they continue to prove me wrong because I just thought from how deep and sexy the overall roster of the Growlers is, the Everblades are one of those very good, complete teams. Though, like I said, they kind of remind me of the Giants. But a, a hockey San Francisco Giants because their team doesn't have the sexiest name brand guys, but just has a very good, complete team. Well, that showed tonight as they were able to have... Um, McCarron and of course uh, Vander Esch step up big time but you're able to get scoring from Sandberg from uh, your, your Remco from Angeli from Renecki's able to step up as well so again everybody as a whole was able to step up in solo before he was able to get that goal had some very nice plays as well so was rewarded with the goal in the end and the winning goal in overtime peace out everybody stay safe please can you subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel going to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June